Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I got the upgraded version. Balls to the wall, as I like to call it. So you guys remember, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, I created the Arcades deck. This one's the upgraded version of it. I've had more success with this one than that one. And it's roughly about the same price, but I did make a few changes to it. First up, we got Aegis of the Heavens. We are going to run three total. This thing, because of the plus one, plus seven, it's going to have the ability to go off, make one of our walls huge as all get out. Real quick, the idea of this deck is get our walls to basically transform into walls that can attack and catch our opponent off guard. We're going to run three Board the Weather Lights. This card really made the difference. It's only a two drop. We're going to run three total. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a historic card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Because I did have difficulties getting to Arcades, the strategist, and at times even Tetsuko, I felt what better way than to be able to dig a little bit into our library. So that was one huge inclusion. We're going to have two Essence Scatters for some counter abilities. To search for Escantas. This is going to help out also because we're basically getting that ability to scry. We can look at the top card of our library. Um, we can put it in the graveyard or leave it on top. That's going to help out a whole lot. Again, to get to our Tetsuko and our Arcades. Tetsuko, speaking of the devil. Creatures you control with power, toughness, one or less can't be blocked. This is how we win games because we transform our walls. Into, into creatures that can attack. But they don't end up having the power. They still have power zero. But when they attack, we're going to deal that damage. We'll get to it in a second. Wall of Mist. We're going to run just two Wall of Mists. It's a zero five 5 Defender. Darn good card. Consulate Skygate. It has reach. That's important because we have a lot of flying obstacles out there on the battlefield from time to time. Standard does have a lot of flyers now, so we're going to run four total. Four Gleaming Barriers. It's a two-drop defender. When Gleaming Barrier dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token with sacrifice this artifact. Add one mana of any color. We may very well need that one mana of any color in order to get uh, our Arcades out. Suspicious Bookcase. Going to run a total of two of these. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. It's got Defender. Uh, by tapping three, make it so something can't be blocked. Perhaps throwing that in Arcades himself. Settle the Wreckage. Going to run a total of two of these. Exile all attacking creatures. Target player controls. Then he searches for basic lands for each one of those. Next up, the big boy, Arcades the Strategist. Takes four to bring out Flying and Vigilance. Whenever a creature with Defender enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That's nasty once you get the sucker out. But usually once we get Arcades out, the game's almost already won. Each creature you control with Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. So none of it says that its power is now going to be, our wall is now going to be a 4-4. So that's why it still remains as if its power had zero, and that's why we're able to attack and they go unblocked with Tetsuko. It's a nasty little trick. Four copies of Arcades. Four Armoranthian Walls. Why? Because it has Defender, and it's a wall, and it's indestructible, which is awesome. We can pump the sucker up even more with Aegis of the Heavens. Four of those. Two Tefiri, just to get to our cards even quicker. This is one of the upgrades we made. Uh, rather than using uh, Karn, we had him in last time. I think Tefiri is just a better route. If we're going to run a Planeswalker, it might as well be Karn. Uh, I'm sorry, it might as well be Tefiri. Land base, we're going to have five plains, four islands, five forests, three glacial fortresses, three sun petal groves, three hinterland harbors, and our sideboard is going to consist of four seal aways, depending who we're up against, two essence scatters, four negates, basically to protect our Arcades, and four disallows, basically to attack our Arcades, if need be, depending on what kind of decks we're going up against, like we got a lot of removal and stuff like that. All right, moving forward, let's get into some play tests. I want you guys to see this deck in action and see how it holds up. All right, hopefully I can give a good example of how this deck runs. Starting hand was not bad. We got two walls. Decent land base for everything we need. 
Only problem is our major problem, Arcades, and we didn't get any cards to help search for him. So we're gonna have to get lucky and draw him. Drop one of these walls. That could be running here. Definitely energy. Mm -mm. Maybe like a Thopter deck, it looks like. So we just still did not get our Arcadius. That's alright, we're still developing our little wall base here. I don't want to say land base, wall base. Wall of Mist, Consulate, Skygate, slap that. Just because it has reach, it looks like he's going to start shooting out Thopters. So having something to block those Thopters would be ideal. And our Skygate allows us to do so. Pet Sucko, welcome. He's part of the combo. That just makes it so there's nothing he can do. It's just unblockable. And then we'll slap down Wall of Mist as well. Really hoping, fingers crossed, we draw into our Arcades this next turn. Otherwise, uh, we're kind of a sitting duck. And we can only hold off for so long. We only have one Council and Skygate out that has reach against Thopter, so... There we go. Now he's cooking. So he's getting that energy. And essentially, I mean, it can go infinite. If he gets the right amount, um, the right cards out, he can just continuously drop a Thopter, get the energy, drop a Thopter, get the energy, drop a Thopter, get the energy. It, it's, it's infinite. So Arcadius is dropping down. This just turns the tide. Now I want to see. There has been a few bugs uh, on Arena. So I'm just going to kind of test this out. Make sure it goes through without him being able to block. We'll know once we make our attack. He said nice. Once we make our attack, um, if it just goes right through, we'll know if it's it can be blocked or not. Like without giving him an option. Creatures you can tell apart one of us. Can't be blocked. Boom, boom, instant. He had no choice. He had he had to just take the damage. So it's interesting how that uh, the cards, uh, the verbiage on the cards affect things. So it looks like next turn. Okay, it looks like next turn we're gonna take him. His deck is cool. Maybe I, that'd be fun to make a deck like how he's got. Maybe I can showcase like. Infinite Thopters. You need to sit there dropping them. Of course, you gotta get the right cards in hand, but it could happen. Get energy, make a Thopter. Get energy, make a Thopter. Get energy, you pay three, make a Thopter. So before we he was able to become a big threat, looks like we're gonna take him out here. Opponent's thinking. He's going to attack. Okay, so we're at 15, and uh, it looks like I'll be able to get to utilize Aegis of the Heavens. That'll be fun. And show you guys uh, just a huge, big old creature. That's unblockable. There's nothing you can do. Going to combat. Probably swing with everything. Maybe hold back Arcade. No, there's no point to hold Arcade's back because it's 5-5's five, tap, so we might as well swing with him too. Clear attackers. Giving him a chance to respond. Because he can block the strategist. And he's going to. And now we're going to make it lethal. <laughs> this is fun. Boom. 11 11. Stock it to him. That's nice game. So there's a deck. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this, uh, leave a comment. I appreciate it. As always, PLA.